If you've taken the effort to import all of your social media network data into your spreadsheet and you've started to identify some trends and patterns, the time now is to learn from those results. One of the important things to remember is that you don't, as a brand, necessarily have to be on every single social media network all the time. It may well be to your disadvantage, but you can only know this once you've received enough data from the different networks and once you've spent enough time analysing what's coming in. It could, for example, be that certain periods of the year you're actually wasting your money being present on a social media network where there isn't the right type of activity for your buyer persona. It could be that you need to be constantly active to be able to stay paced with the competition and to stay engaged with your buyer persona. But you can only know this by looking at and analysing those results. By analysing the results, you can make more careful use of limited funds that you have in your budget for social media networking and marketing, and you can make clever use of those results to focus your activities when you require them at the right time of the year on the right social network. All of this means that you're getting more value for your budget and more value for the time that you're spending with these social media networks in a way that produces the best result and the, the biggest expanding community for your buyer persona. The more you do this, the more effective you are and the more careful you can be with your placement and perhaps even more focused to the extent that you can recognise with a great deal of accuracy where, when and how you need to be in which social media network. To control and analyse activities of market, uh, we get a very uh, analytical reports, very uh, very important information which we can analyze and we can uh, track the uh, effectiveness of marketing campaigns. So that's why, that's why it's very important uh, decision to make to have your own professionals in organization rather than to order uh, media agencies for help. But of course, uh, either it's uh, your professional team member or media organization, but to, br to build brand awareness is very important nowadays when uh, we live in millennium and transparent age. So the data that's on the spreadsheets and the data that's produced um, needs to be um, taken and used in order to make good decisions um, for your business. They produce results, you know, they produce you know, the ability to be able to analyze and they allow us to optimize or our, our, our actual activity. You know, we use um, uh, data you know, from downloading SEO reports so that we can see how much um, time and investment it put into developing content um, is needed in order to produce the different you know, areas of traffic. We can look at the, the data that's produced across our website and the peaks and the troughs. Um, we know that you know, a strong period for our, our business um, is Monday and Tuesday from the different traffic that's uh, produced in, through um, in the data on Google Analytics and our quietest day is, uh, is, 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 is the weekend. So you know, the decision there is should we continue to invest in Monday and Tuesday and make that peak even higher or should, in should we in fact be releasing and doing more digital marketing activities at the weekends so that we actually prop up the low amount of traffic that's going through at the weekends. But traffic isn't everything and obviously you need to make sure that, that is converting into sales and into, for us, um, candidates coming into the business. So we just need to make that call whether you know, the, the, we are using the right area and producing the right results from our investment. You have uh, some quality data there. Uh, you can find some. You can you can make some assumptions, uh, but it's not uh, everything is based on quality. Let's say if you have an SEO report, uh, you can see if you have an increase in organic traffic or not. So if you see a decrease in organic traffic coming from SEO, the client will. Uh, have an assumption something is not going uh, very well with our campaign. But actually the truth is the queries for the specific product are not high during summer season. So you have to um, be ready for a situation like this. So first of all, examin examining the data okay, based on uh, quality uh, metrics and after that we need a human, uh, you know, factor 
to identify what is going on. 